Good evening, everybody. Um, it is after midnight, 1220, and um, uh, I was just awoken with the news that 100 and so, over 100, let me just read it for you. Whew, I was sound asleep. Uh, Iran has launched over 100 drones at Israel. IDF, that's the Israeli Defense Forces, are working to intercept them en route. Unconfirmed reports say cruise missiles uh, also fired. IDF spokesman says defense is strong. Israel restricts gatherings. Well, it's 1220. I wasn't going to really gather with anybody. Um, probably for tomorrow, I guess. And uh, Biden is on his way back from vacation to the White House. So there you have it. It's kind of weird. Um, like I said, I was sound asleep. Uh, Ilana just woke me up. Um, Netanyahu has convened the war cabinet um, in Tel Aviv. And, uh, so yeah, 100 drones and apparently some missiles uh, have been, which is exactly what they said was going to happen. The intelligence, I think. I kind of thought that once Iran realized that we were publicizing their intelligence, they wouldn't do it. Now, here's my take. Um, really tired. Um, that I just can't believe that these are going to be aimed at significant targets because that would begin a massive war in the region. I don't think Iran wants that. Um, Let's read. So far, the Israeli military has identified more than 100 drones launched from Iran at Israel. The Israeli Air Force is tracking the drones and is preparing for additional waves of attacks, which may include missiles. The drones that are currently being tracked are expected to reach the country within hours. Now, when was that? That was 12, that was 10 minutes ago. So, got a few hours. Um, <clears throat> the drones are uh, ours, uh, though the IDF will work to intercept them at an earlier stage. Uh, other threats include ballistic missiles or cruise missiles that will take less time to reach Israel. And the IDF says it will update accordingly. The IDF says it is well prepared to handle the Iranian attack. Chief of Staff, Chief of Staff is our highest it's like the general of the Joint Chiefs in America. General Herzi Halevi has held a uh, another assessment in the last few hours. So yeah, there it is. I was sound asleep. <laughs> like, I'm so tired right now. And, um, and uh, we expected this, but didn't really expect it. Um, and now we just got to sit and wait. Uh, we're going to go right now. I'm in, in our my home studio, but um, we're going to go into the safe room, I guess, and uh, go to sleep. Try and go to sleep. Um, anyways, I wanted to just make a quick video to ask for prayer. Prayer works. Um, folks around the world are probably thrilled and rooting for this. Um, I, I'm not dumb enough to think that uh, the most destabilizing power in the Middle East, in the Middle East, um, Iran attacking Israel will change anybody's opinion around the world. We are the bad guy. It's demonic, uh, which is why people believe it. doesn't matter what we do. Um, but you aren't believing that. So I'm asking you for prayer. Um, let me see if there's anything else, any, um, anything else important. Uh, oh, another, here's another little update. Hang on, just came up. Syrian army puts its missile system on high alert. I didn't even know they still had a missile system. <laughs> Syria put on high alert. It's Russian-made pan-steer ground-to-air missile uh, defense system around the capital of Damascus. I think the whole point is that we're, we're tired of playing with Damascus and, and Hezbollah and Hamas and uh, we're ready to deal directly with Iran. They're, they are behind all of this. They are behind October 7th. Uh, they're behind Hamas, Hezbollah, the Houthis. And um, I don't know what's going to happen. 
see if there's anything else I need to share. Anything else new? Whew, goodness, it is a weird, weird feeling, I have to admit. Uh, drew some posts, just checking that out. Hundreds, same thing, hundreds uh, of drones from Iran uh, to Israel. El Al has canceled flights. And, uh, and we do have, I'm not going to say when, where, how, but we had some uh, flight plans in the near future. We'll have to see what happens now. Um, yeah, that's it. That's it. So um, I am just going to, I'm going to pray. How's that? Let's see. Where is, I'm just looking for my. Okay, no, we don't want to end live video, but I do want to be able to. Anyways, um, yeah, would you uh, please uh, pray for us? Uh, pray for all Israel. Um, and, uh, well, it's good to see uh, somebody praying for us in, in uh, German. I'm so tired. Yes. Um, so, oh, okay. So somebody's reporting that they heard that the ballistic missiles take 12 minutes. So hopefully they're not on the way. Cruise missiles take two hours. Drones take eight hours. So um, if you're in the missile business, sounds like you want those uh, ballistic missiles. They're the ones that only take 12 minutes. Um, all right, let's pray. Lord, in the name of Yeshua, as these drones and uh, missiles are coming our way, we just pray that you would protect Kol Yisrael. Shatataagin et Kol Yisrael. Taagin aleinu, Abba, b'shem Yeshua, Mashiach. Protect us, God. Protect all Israel in the name of Yeshua. Uh, give us grace, Father. Give us grace to to uh, to cry out to you. What a time right now. Uh, just be in prayer for Israel's salvation. It is a, a good time to pray for uh, revelation. Um, it's like biblical, you know, this stuff happening. But God, we just pray that now you would pour out your spirit now in the name of Yeshua. Hallelujah. All right, I'm going to, um, believe it or not, I'm going to go into our safe room. And go to bed, I guess. I don't know if the other uh, missiles or if it's just the drones or if it's actual these 12-minute missiles. If, if, if they are, then I need to get into my safe room immediately. Let's look one more time at the uh, Times of Israel. How's your day going? Okay, same, same, drones, so right now it's just talking about drones, suicide drones, gosh, it's creepy, these little demonic suicide drones, um, but again, I don't think Iran wants a war with Israel, the, you know, you, then you have to deal with the U.S., you know, the whole, the whole point of, of keeping this small is to not, <sighs> is to not bring um, the U.S. into this or uh, other Western nations. Yeah, okay. Well, listen, guys, um, thank you so much for praying. And uh, I see the few of you watching. And um, yeah, that's about it. So please... Uh, Maybe share this, and if if you're just tuning in, we are under attack. 100 drones have been launched against Israel that they should land here in the next couple hours. I'm not exactly sure when they were launched, but uh, I just found out about 20 minutes ago that they are on their way, um, 100, and um, we, we pray this doesn't uh, blow up into an all-out war, but it could. We'll have to see. 
All right, lo love you guys, appreciate you. Please, again, um, I know it's daytime in the U.S., not daytime, but what, 7, 5.30, East Coast time. So those of you in the uh, Western Hemisphere, pray for Israel right now. And if you're awake in the Eastern Hemisphere, pray for Israel. All right? Good night.